Hey everyone, it's Chris again. I'm doing another uh, techniques for airsoft video. Um, this time uh, to coincide with my purchasing myself a nice new 1911. Um, we're going to be doing one about reloading, reloading techniques even for GBB pistols. Um, good thing about these is that unlike the various kinds of gas assault rifle, most handguns they will pretty much the drills you want to follow. They're all going to be quite similar. Um, Obviously, different weapons, you have Colts, you have Glocks, you have Sigs, Berettas, they, they've all got slightly different controls, but they're not nearly as different when you compare, say, AKs, AR-15s, M14s, stuff like that. So we'll be covering a few different types of handgun, um, reloading drills, a bit of loading as well uh, in this. Um, I only apologise for the background noise, not a lot I can do about that. Uh, so yeah. Um, uh, in terms of how I do this, um, it's a sort of, it's a mixture of what I've learned from uh, at work, um, what I've learned from playing airsoft, and from, again, as with last video, a combination of watching different training DVDs that are out there, different guys, and just fitting it all to me, what works for me in airsoft, with my kit, my guns, uh, and all that sort of thing. So, uh, yeah, hopefully this will be... Um, informative for you guys out there, a uh, little bit of information, that's, again, that's the, um, part of my reason for doing this is when I do go out on the skirmish field, this this is something I see people get really, really wrong quite a lot, I mean, you know, it's not life or death, but it does seem to take people forever, and partly because of the gear they use, but a lot of it is down to technique. Um, uh, a big one, of course, is taking ages to get things out of pouches because of the pouches they're using and where they position them, they're like down the level like somewhere or whatever. Um, but also the technique of people again reloading down here like this and missing and just taking ages to do it. So uh, I thought we'll go through a little bit of what um, perhaps I would recommend how you want to do it. Uh, we'll start off with just a standard a standard load. Um, this is obviously best done outside the safe zone, wait till you get outside the net or the wire, whatever it is, um, safety first. Uh, so um, yeah, for this one I'll be using my uh, custom built 1911, it's, it's based on a Tokyo Marui MEU, so despite the fact the externals have changed, the insides are all basically the same. Um, Start off with, off with obviously your pistols in your holster, um, your mags holster away. Draw and as with when you're doing the reload, keep the weapon up, keep your eyes up. Just best to keep your um, always keep your mindset of always being eyes up, weapon up, so that you're always keeping your eye out. Even if you're not in the middle of the game reloading, just always drilling it all the time helps reinforce it. So weapon up not cocked or anything like that at the moment, totally empty state. For your magazine, keeping that as with the M4 mags or any other rifle mags, trying to get a good index finger out on it. Just pause just before you get to the magwell, come quickly up there, pause for a second, align it with the magwell and in, nice firm push, flat. I find it helps to, uh, as you're going in, flatten your hand out like so, slap it home, don't bang it, don't, you know, you're not having a fight with the thing. Just a firm push, you'll hear that. You'll hear that click as the uh, mag catch catches in. Um, keeping it up as always. Nice firm grip on the rear of the slide. Back it back, let it go. Don't ride it forward because that's going to cause you jams and malfunctions and stuff later on. With a 1911, safety catch on. Uh, if your weapon has a safety catch, then apply it at that point. Um, one of the few areas where you do get a bit more of a difference and then obviously at that point you know you've got a mag full of fresh BBs, got a BB in the chamber, your gas stuff, cocked, hammered down, safety's on, reholster and then you know as soon as it comes into the game you can draw safety straight off and when you pull the trigger after the safety come off it's going to fire and you're good to go. Um, when it comes to the reload, we'll go through a bit of a walkthrough, talk through a bit slower first time. So you're, uh, let's say, maybe maybe you've dropped your rifle for the game or you run out of rifle mags and you're 
moving around with your pistol, patrolling, um, yeah, uh, moving around. Um, I fire now to simulate, but then, so you, you do fire, you're firing, you're in an engagement, you fire and the slide locks back. First thing you do is bring it up, move it to the left slightly, a bit like a rifle, but um, tip it up a bit. Looking in there, again, with a, as same with the rifle, looking into the pop up chamber, looking at the top of the magazine, checking. Uh, whether you've got a BB in the chamber or in the hop-up unit. If you've got BBs in the mag, check the um, there's no obstructions inside of there. Would, um, that would be the stopping stream is if you did have some sort of a jam. Um, so you've looked there, you've seen there isn't a BB in the chamber, there isn't BBs in the mag. You know, empty mag. First thing, come around, mag drops out, put that away, put that in my dump pouch for now. Um, now, I've got, at the moment, right now, I've got a BB in the pop up, I've got BBs in the mag, which means I'm going to have to get a double feed, but the drill's the same. Um, again, rifle up, don't be, don't be reloading down here, because some guy out there will slot you. Weapon up, pause, just before you get to the mag well, push it home. Now, at this point, you've got two options you've got the actual slide release lever or slide locking lever whatever it is, press that down or you can power stroke it by putting this slide back very slightly letting it go forward. Um, I would generally advise going with the power stroke because that small little area there is an awful lot smaller than just grabbing your whole hand on that and racking it back. Um, you're not going to miss grabbing your hand onto that. That, you know, there's, there's only a small up margin for error and you could miss that. So slide forward, back in the firing stance and you're firing again. Obviously that power stroke, the slide release, that's pretty consistent with every different pistol model there out there is out there that'll work with as I mentioned um, a Glock, a SIG, a USP, uh, a Beretta, not obviously the 1911 and most other stuff. You've got either the slide release or the power stroke. Uh, basically all the same, and as I say, generally we go for the power stroke. Uh, so now we am going to go through a bit of a uh, an actual firing drill. Um, my brother's going to be helping me out on that one. I'm going to just run through, we're going to fire a few shots, uh, and go through the reloading process, uh, the two of us, um, just to watch it done um, full speed.